Guys, are you also wondering what is Santorini really like? Get ready because we're going to explore the three most famous spots on the island. Yeah, Fira and Imerovi. I will also give you tons of tips, hit you up with fun facts, and of course, take you with me on my number one dream destination. It has been on my bucket list since I was five, and I don't know if you're excited right now, but you will definitely be by the end of this video. Calimera, guys! Today we are in Santorini in one of the most famous villages which is called... It's written Oya but it's actually pronounced just Ya. Apparently this is the most famous out of all villages here in Santorini and we arrived here from Tira where we are staying. We took the bus, it was like only 30 minutes, it was pretty short ride and now we are here and we are ready to explore. Let's go! I mean that's a completely random street but it already looks very nice and just to tell you like at the moment it's July and it says that it's like 29 degrees but I swear to you it feels like a lot a lot more. Most of the visitors come to Ia to admire the unique architecture, the captain's houses, blue domes, cave houses and of course the amazing sunset. And I already see a blue dome church and I'm just wondering like is this the most famous one or is there another one because just a tip for you to know a lot of churches have already blue domes so a lot of them already look very familiar to the typical postcards that you would see many people would argue that this is the most beautiful city in Santorini for sure, but also in the whole Greece. And now I kind of understand why. You see the, all the people over there taking photos? This is the most like, oh, it's, it's, it's famous shot from Greece. Yes, right. and in a bit we'll go there. I have to say, compared to how many people I have seen that there in the YouTube videos from 2019, compared to now, it feels like there isn't anyone. So I would say it might be a quite good time to come and visit Santorini at the moment, uh -huh. because I don't think it will ever be as empty. Oh wow! What? Can we just take a look? It's so beautiful. And the whole place is built on the cliff side, but don't expect to swim in the sea while you're in Ya because actually the beaches are located on the other side of the island. And just look at that, that's definitely not your typical touristy shop. And something which I'm definitely noticing is that there are a lot of art galleries in here or also Greek traditional shops. Like for example, this one here is making jewelry. And if you don't know this already, Oya is famous for its chic and expensive restaurants and it's also great for shopping exactly because of these small art galleries and this not very typical touristy shop. And the truth is that in this town you can find all the beautiful, quality, expensive and also quite exclusive goods and this is mostly because Santorini is also regularly visited by famous people as well, like for example, Kim K was also in Santorini a couple of years ago. Honestly, I couldn't be more happy and excited to be in here. Apart from the fact that it's so freaking hot, but I'm still really enjoying it. And one of the reasons why this place is so famous is because it's actually overlooking the volcano, which is also called the Caldera, which is right behind me. Let me show you. It's really hot. No, it's not that hot. And guys, just a little tip for you. Basically, uh, I would really suggest you to avoid visiting Oya during summer midday hours because really, trust me, the sun is way too hot. And I'm saying this and I love sun, but I felt like I'm a fried egg in the middle of the streets of oh yeah but jokes apart i'm pretty sure that if you put an egg on the ground it could get cooked
leave me here. Guys, I'm using this beautiful view behind me to tell you a little bit more about the coffee and the coffee culture in Greece. Basically, the most typical coffee that you can have in here is called frappe, which is uh, a nice iced type of coffee, which is usually like the Nespresso coffee. And this is an example. Here we have the... This is a frappe, which also has ice cream, as you can see, which is not as typical, but yeah, we decided to go for it because, I mean, we're on holiday, so why not? And you can have this with or without milk, and of course, you, in some places, you can also find it with ice cream. And something that I get is, is this, which is called the iced cappuccino which is basically cappuccino, which I feel like they make very long cappuccino and after that they put lots of ice in it. And yeah, as you can see, we're going for the iced coffee because it's just super warm in here. It's good and very refreshing. And after that, we took the bus and we went to our next stop, which is the city of Imerovi. Guys, warning a word, it's so beautiful. So, it's so hot! <laughs> so, so get hot. ready. Let me show you. Look at that. And you guys, if you like, I haven't hit you up with a fun fact for a while, so here it is, one for you. This village is known as the balcony to the Aegean Sea because it is built on the highest point of the Caldero Creek cliffs, which is about 300 meters above the sea level. And guys, just a tip. Basically, if you want to stay at a place which is really similar to Ya, yeah, you can stay here in Imerovi because uh, when I checked, the prices of the hotels were lower, but if you look around, basically, it really, really looks super similar. And now I see that it's not as crowded. And this village is actually only three kilometers away from Fira, where we were staying. I think, I think this is like what Italy is lacking of, you know, there's like much culture, there's integration between architecture, nature, the environment, you know, it's really organized, really clean, really efficient, you know, I much support it, you know, really nice. And you guys, by the way, to take this amazing view, so I'm actually stepping on here but be very careful so you don't step actually into the house of someone because I saw there were a lot of places where it's written like please don't step on our homes so if you like over tourism here can be a problem at any other rio you know we all want some amazing instagramable shots but just be mindful of the privacy of locals and the most famous attraction of this village is this huge rock that it even has a name. It's called Skaros and it lies uh, on the seaward side. And it is very important because it is actually one of the five fortresses of Santorini. And this is the most significant one. It's so, so pretty, you guys. I just cannot take enough of this city. And to be honest with you, I feel like it's actually my favorite one because the view from, in my opinion, it's better than Ya, yeah, but there aren't as many tourists and like people taking photos all around. I mean, apart I, from you. Yeah, apart from me, basically. By the way, guys, something that you can do, especially if you love hiking, is that you can go, uh, yeah, you can go hiking. Duh! from Fira, after that to this city in Merovi and after that go all the way to Oya and it usually takes around five hours but I have to warn you if you're doing this in summer it's really really hot but I guess if you come like more towards autumn or beginning of spring would be way more enjoyable and by the way my hair is going a little bit crazy in here like here it says nine kilometers to Oya and 
there are also a lot of bars with a nice view like this one here. I feel like I'm really taking energy from the sun and I'm literally loving this super warm weather. What is the maximum amount of temperature you have ever been to? Let me know. We're in Fira in Santorini. This is also the capital of the island. It is a great combination of the beautiful architecture typical for Santorini, but also it has some bars, nightlife, shopping, and also it feels very lively. And it also has super beautiful sunsets, like the one that we just literally missed. just missed, but here's some shots of it. To be honest, I just want to admire this church, you know, as you guys can see. It's really like nice, you know, calm, nice, straight architecture. I like it. I like the sense of depth it gives. And inside there's a garden, you know, and people selling balloons. Really nice, really, really nice. And actually, during our stay in Santorini, we decided to stay at the town of Fira because it is very close to the airport and also it's kind of in the middle of the island, so it's very easy to reach both the beautiful cities of Ya or Imerovi, where we went earlier, but at the same time, it's not that far from the beaches as well. And we finished the day by having this amazing fish at Barea Tavern and all this costed only 35 euros so I really suggest you checking out this place. The only thing which I find quite odd and I honestly feel bad is that you can see how empty the island is. Most of the bars, restaurants are all empty and I kind of feel bad for the owners. And we ended up our day by looking at this incredible view. And you guys, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more similar content, don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe. It really helps me out. Love you all. Bye.